things are winding down here in Hoover at SEC Media Days, but that means the excitement is just getting started for football fans because kickoff is right around the corner. Here with a quick look at all three days is your ESPNU Campus Connection recap. Lots of talking. <laughs> That's how head coach and SEC Media Days veteran Steve Spurrier described the three-day media frenzy. But that's not all he had to say. On day one, Coach Spurrier addressed the issues of his team's social networking. First thing, you, I heard you in your press conference talk about Twitter and how you were banning that from your players. Can you expand on that a little bit? Well, we have some dumb, immature players that put crap on their Twitter, and uh, we don't need that, so the best thing to do is just ban it. So. When I get back to talk to the team tomorrow, we're going to make that announcement. Mississippi State defensive lineman Fletcher Cox says this year his team is determined to win the West. What are you looking forward to the most this next season at Mississippi State? I'm oh, winning the West. Winning the West. Yeah. You going to do it? Yeah. Florida quarterback John Brantley says his team is excited about the season under their new coach, Will Muschamp. This is your first year under Coach Muschamp. What can you tell us about what to expect come fall under you? Uh, I mean, it's going to be a completely different new offense. Um, you know, since day one of spring, we've been learning it and getting better at it each day. And uh, coming into August, spending a couple more uh, weeks with our coaches, a lot of meetings, you know, we can only get better from that. And uh, everyone's bought into it and everyone's ready to get the season rolling. The commissioner's address outlining the SEC's new agenda was really the talk of the day here at SEC Media Days. And we caught up with Commissioner Slav to hear what he had to say about the impact. Your address on Wednesday has really just made some great ripples through the conference. <laughs> did you expect it to make that big of an impact? Well, you know, I'm, it's, I'm not, I don't think I did. I mean, I, I knew that it was, it was important to me, and I thought a lot about it, and uh, uh, and, I, it, and it, it has had a lot of ripples not only here but but throughout the country. And to the extent that it that initiates uh, and generates debate about these issues, uh, I think then it would it could it's, it could be called successful. Day two brought the defending national champions, the Auburn Tigers, to media days, where they were excited to show off their new rings and address their beloved Tumors Oaks. Our uh, BCS ring they gave us, and it's the biggest out of all of them. NOSA wore the SEC one, and Emory wore the NCAA one, so I had to wear this one. And uh, it's just Coach Chizik spoiled us with our rings this year. So um, I just heard yesterday reports of this that they're going to let students roll the trees after games. Can you tell us just as a student how important that is and what a big deal that is? Yeah, that's one of our biggest traditions, and uh, to take that away from us would well, it wouldn't damper our, our spirit, our school spirit, but you know it would definitely be a little bit of a blow to us. And uh, it's just one of those great uh, traditions that you don't see anywhere else. Very original, so I'm, I'm glad we get the opportunity to do that again. Day three saw a packed house as the Crimson Tide rolled into Hoover. Alabama says this next season they're simply working on finishing games and staying focused. What can we expect this coming season from Alabama, especially from your secondary? Um, hopefully just just better, being better than last year, a lot better than last year. Um, you know, we're more experienced. You know, we have guys working hard every day, so, you know, hopefully we'll just be a lot better and, and more disciplined and, you know, finishing more, just, just a lot better than last year all around. Going into this next season, there's already Heisman talk surrounding you. Are you using that to kind of fuel your fire for the season, or are you just having to block it out and focus? No, I'm just blocking it out and focus. Because um, I just really can't buy into that. Because, you know, it really kind of almost takes your feel. You get so set on Heisman and stuff like that, you forget about your team. So I really can't. I'm not going to let my team down. I'm not going to forget about my team because my team made me who I am today. So. Coach Saban also took time to address the ongoing issue of bitter rivalries in the state. Day three also brought the Tigers from LSU. Coach Les Miles says he's confident in the team he has for 2011. The thing that we have is we think we have a pretty good football team. And I think offensively, obviously the returners and the veteran at quarterback is a reason that we, we feel pretty good about our team. Um, defensively, we have advantages. Special teams, we have advantages. I, uh, 
Um, anytime you have returners, it's an advantage. We, got, we, we think we have enough. It's been an exciting time here at Media Days, and with a conference that's produced the last five national champions, would you expect anything less? Reporting from Hoover and SEC Media Days, with ESPNU Campus Connection, I'm Cassidy Hill.